Hi everyone, my name is Amy and today I'm just going to show you, I guess, kind of how I'm going to organize my BTS binder. As you can see, there is no cover on it. Uh, I don't have a good like OT7 picture that I love right now. So once I do have one that I really like, it's going to go here in the front. But uh, I received a lot of things over Christmas. And if you haven't seen my haul, I will link that. But I've got a lot of photo cards to put in. Not just these mini photo cards or whatever, but I mean, I've got like photo cards too from all the albums <laughs> that I need to organize and put into this album. Uh, we also have cards from DVDs and books and you know what have you. So let's just go ahead and get into that. Real quickly though I'm going to talk a little bit about the materials that I have in case you're curious and I will link everything. Huge shout out to my friend Melanie. She has a booktube channel called Melt to the Any and then another um, K-pop uh, BTS unboxing channel called J to the Imin. So really she's helped me out a ton in putting this binder together and you know telling me like what materials um, are really good to get. So first off this binder is a white binder. Obviously it's white <laughs> but uh, it is the Staples Better binder and there's a little window here. I haven't decorated anything yet as you can tell, but uh, I really, really love this binder a lot. This is the two inch and it's already starting to fill up. <laughs> so maybe the next step's gonna be a three inch, I don't know, but I really love this binder a lot. And then as you can see, I have these dividers and uh, I got these from Target. They come in a pack of five and I saw Blue Moon V, if you follow Blue Moon V or have heard of them, they have a very, very big BTS unboxing channel. So these are what I use. They come in a pack of five, like I said, they're only a couple of dollars from Target. And I really love the whole like colorful rainbow aesthetic, which is what really drew me to it. Now, uh, let's see here. We also have uh, these Dragon Shield cards to protect the cards, like the photo cards, at least the ones that fit anyways. Uh, these are from Amazon, another recommendation from Melanie. And the main pocket inserts that I think we're going to be seeing today are going to be ones that are um, eight pockets. So as you can see here, there's a four by four row, as well as the nine pockets. So you can see there's three, three, three. Um, those will be the main ones. And then you might see some that are, um, I think these may be five by sevens or around that. Um, again, I'll link all the materials. I'm not going to do a full flip through. I'm going to save that for a different video, but I figured this one might just be kind of fun to just sit down and kind of have like a relaxing, it's kind of like an ASMR, you know? If, if you enjoy organizing type of videos, then you might enjoy this. I've never done one before, so let's just go ahead and get into it. The way my binder right now is set up, I have Young first just because he is my bias and he is who I am actively collecting. And then the rest of the binder is all in bunk on order and then OT7 is at the end along with some things like the notes and stuff which I'll get to <laughs> in my actual flip through video but okay I'm just gonna go ahead and get started as you can see I use cardstock to organize um, any of the blank spaces um, I just really like the way that it looks and let's go ahead and since I already have V right here for dark and wild I did pull his card from uh, Oh Are You Late 2. So let's go ahead and grab that one and we'll put it right there. And if you saw my unboxing video, um, you'll know that <laughs> I pulled two of his I don't know if that was a fluke or what. Uh, so I am at least going to put his card in a little sleeve right here. Sorry, my cat's meowing. That's just gonna be a trend. I am so sorry. Um, I don't know if I should put him in the same sleeve or not. Um, you know what? I'm gonna set him aside for now. I don't know if I wanna put him right there. And then, go ahead and get this OT7 photo 
in its own little sleeve too. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and take out all the photo cards. We have another OT7, so that's perfect. We're already in that section. There we have it. And the reason I'm using the eight pockets for this one is only because uh, this lenticular uh, fits a little strangely <laughs> in the uh, nine pockets. So that's just why I have it like that. Then we have this postcard. I think what I might just do is slide that right in here and keep that pink cardstock like that. The reason I don't have cardstock behind this one is only because I like the back of it and I wanted to keep that the way it was. Grab the cards from Dark and Wild. Again, this is another weird situation where I pulled two Namjoons, but there's a defect on him. Um, unfortunately, there's like a red dot on his nose on both cards, which is so strange. So I don't know. I'm going to reach out to Weeply and see what uh, they might be able to do if they can maybe send me a replacement or something. I don't know. Um, but for now, I'll at least put it all in my binder. And okay, so let's see here. Ah, oh, Dark and Wild. Actually, let's grab a sleeve. So my Nam June section is very minimal because I did a lot of trading with my friends who are Nam June biases. So with Nam June, I'm going to grab, let's see, I might grab an eight pocket for him. my little itty bitty Nam June card section. Okay. And then I pulled <laughs> I pulled a dupe actually when I got School Love Affair. So I have two of the same. I think I will put it I don't know, should I put them up here? I think I put them up here. So now I have two of these. <laughs> but that's all right. Just put him there for now and then the stickers that also came with school love affair which i guess i could put it in the back i like that that looks okay all right so now i have these polaroids from wings and we're just going to go into their own uh members section so here's my yoongi section so let's just go ahead and uh we will throw his in there. So I used these pockets, there's four, and they are four by five and a half. And that's pretty crucial for this Polaroid. If you go any smaller, like they will not fit. <laughs> which <laughs> um, I already have this one. If you saw my unboxing, you'll know that I already owned this Polaroid uh, because I was dumb and didn't know at the time. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with this one. I think, uh, I don't know. Let's just, is there room? If there's room, oh, that's, that's too tight. I'm not gonna do that. Um, 
I'll just do another page for now. Now I'm just going to pull all the photos from uh, the different concept books, DVDs. That way I can get everything organized. So here's one from Wings. We have the 2017 memories. Hmm, I wonder if I should put that in my binder too. I don't know. Um, I'm going to hold off on that. I'll leave it in its own binder for now. And then I also have uh, this, um, their cologne. So they all have their own individual photos, which I will organize into their own sections too. I think what I might do, let's see, this is the Memories 2018. I'm going to put Memories 2017 right next to it. And then because as of the moment, um, this one doesn't have a home, it is 2017 Wings Tour. Let's just go ahead and slide that one right here. There. Now I have a full page. That's so satisfying. Now, this is the anomaly. Um, it's plastic and it's wider than these pockets can hold. So it might actually fit though, like if we just do this, it fits in the eight pocket ones. So I might just leave it in one of these for now. However, I'm not gonna put it in this one because uh, these are the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself final, and there's exactly eight cards, and this has exactly eight slots. I have uh, number two out of eight, which uh, Melanie sent me, and then I have eight out of eight. So I'm leaving this empty for that collection. Now, this one is from the same collection, but it's like, there's only six of them, and it's for like the, I think it's just for multiple members there might be like two people or there might be three or whatever like this one has Tay and Yoongi so right now it's in my Tay section I'm not sure what I should do about this one for now um you know what just just for the sake of being organized I'm just going to stick them both right here for now and then I might come back to that later and now for the fun part are these ones and both of these are Young sets usually it would just come with eight cards and it would have one of each member but i found a seller who was selling just the Young set and i really really wanted to just collect that for my collection so had it on my christmas list i was really lucky that i got it so let's start out with the final that looks so satisfying like this looks so freaking satisfying wow I'm truly happy with this uh, let me go ahead and also fix something here while I'm at it because if we're going one two three four five six seven eight in order then number two of this one should technically be over here okay <laughs> oh my gosh I love it so much so just an FYI these are uh, the Japanese ones. So if it has a white back, they're Japanese. And if it has the red backs, they're Korean. So I guess I'll just stick it right here. <laughs> okay. Same thing with this one. This is the Japanese Fifth Muster in Japan Magic Shop. So there we 
have it. The Japan Muster Magic Shop All Young set. I'm so happy. Here are the backs. Just seeing that is like super satisfying. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Let's throw that in here. I love that. I love seeing a full set. It makes my heart so happy. Then I have the two cologne ones that I was mentioning earlier. You know what? There's some free real estate right here. Let's just pop them in there. Now, I don't know if this is going to fit. I think it might. So, okay. Let's see this fits. So nervous. I think it will. Um, yeah. Let's see if he'll fit. Oh, I think he does. Oh, perfect. Oh, that makes me really happy. And in that case, I'm just going to remove this so we can see the back of it. These, on the other hand, for fun, let's just see if they fit. I don't think they will. They do not. Okay. These need to go in their own 8x10s. So, 8x10. I also have these from the Wings concept book, and I'm trying to decide if I want to put them in the binder in like one of these 8x10s or if I want to just leave it in the book. I think for now I'm going to leave them in the book. Um, they're just really nice quality and I don't know, um, maybe later I'll change it up. But I am however going to put the photo card in there. I have a Young lenticular that's going to go in. And again, this is a really weird size. It's just, <laughs> they love doing that. They love putting in weird sizes. And I <laughs> have nothing that'll make it fit. Okay. Oh no, I don't think this is gonna fit. You guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is a weird length. Oh, but yeah, it feels it feels good though. Um I don't know. Will this fit? Will it fit? No, it doesn't fit. Shoot, okay. Okay. What's plan B? Plan B might have to be, uh, will this fit? Let's just see how much of it sticks out. Quite a significant amount sticks out of the nine pocket ones. So I don't like that. This is an odd shape. So I don't know what to do about it. Um, think here. How will it look like free floating in there? That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. You know what, just for now, he's gonna go in there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where to, what to do with him yet. He'll just float around there just for now. Can we also have this lenticular set from the Japan Magic Shop muster? And that needs a spot too and there's two of them like that is this gonna be weird again <laughs> uh let's see who it's it's basically an ot7 combination Now I'm going to go through and just do all the ones of the VTBTS clone photo cards. Um, let's just go to JK since this is right here and I'm going to remove these.
thing really to add would be um, these Bon Voyage luggage tags. Uh, there's a d night version and a day version and they kind of sort of came with photo cards and they're both the same um, but it's kind of an odd shape. <laughs> like it's a circle. I'm just going to take this out and put it in my binder. Like they're both the same, but whatever. The backs are different. We have the night one and the day one, but the fronts are the same. <laughs> I'm just going to put these little placeholders in here. I might need to cut up a few more, but that's okay. Got my placeholders in there. This one is weird. I'm not going to put any other cards in there for now. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this page, but I'm super satisfied with these two right here. So, okay. All right, that's it for my really weird, I don't know, <laughs> my weird binder organization. And I will later show a flip through of it in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching, bye.